I'm Ken White, I'm a veterinary oncologist at Perth Veterinary Specialists and I've been asked to uh, give you some help on what you can do to look for tumours as they appear on your dog. So for this today we've got Toby. Toby, come here. Good dog. Toby is a very healthy, beautiful Labrador. First thing we're going to do is, is um, work out how often this should be done. And I don't want you doing this too frequently if you've got a perfectly healthy dog. A few times a year, every two or three months at most would be perfectly adequate. The main thing we're going to look for is either external lumps or any evidence of pain. And then lastly, areas that are a little bit hidden that we often don't check, like the mouth or around the backside. So where we're going to start is at the front end. And the first thing to do is simply run your hands over the muzzle and the head like this. You don't have to worry about what you're feeling. You don't need to learn the anatomy to do this. You simply have to do it occasionally so that if something changes, you know there's a difference and you can get your dog seen to. When you look in the mouth, basically try and make it as much like you're just packing them as possible so you don't make it obvious to them that you're examining their mouth. Simply pat them along the jowl and pull the lips back and have a look. It's a good way to check for dental disease, which is far more common than cancer. But nonetheless, the most common areas you'll see cancer growing are around the teeth on the gum, on either side, or at the front. And if there's any changes there with sores developing that will look like a wound or scabs, uh, or growths, fleshy sort of um, cauliflower-like pink growths, then that's something we need to get seen to very quickly. The last thing, and make this as quick as you can for their sake, is just to gently grab behind the canine teeth, lift their head up so they're looking at the sky, and then that'll make them open the mouth a little bit and just have a very quick look in the mouth. Again, don't worry about what you're looking at, just simply get a feel for what's normal, and then if it changes, you can get things seen to. From there, a nice quick look into the ears, and then over the skin. Now when you're checking the, the body, the, um, the main thing is just to feel for any sort of lump that you haven't noticed before. Where we're looking first are called lymph nodes, and they are located just behind the jaw there. If you feel the jaw bone, you'll feel it run along the back and then start to go up. And just at the point where it starts to go up is where the lymph node is located. Now there are other things like salivary glands. Don't panic if you feel a lump the first time. Just get a feel for what your dog feels like. And if that changes, if it feels like there's a great big uh, pebble in there or, or a, a small plum, then obviously things have changed and you need to get um, your dog checked. After that, then move down over the shoulder. Again, there's lymph nodes located here. They're quite difficult to feel, but if something changes, you will notice it. Along there, over the side of the body, to the belly. When you're feeling the belly, flat hands, like this, and you're simply gently squeezing from the front to the back. So that by doing that, what you're doing is moving the contents of the belly in between your fingers and as you move back they will slip through. Now if there's any large lump in there that's going to have to fit between your fingers and you'll feel the change. Tony, let's finish off. Come here mate. Good job. So for the last bit then, when we get to their backside, the main reason to check here is simply often we don't and things can, get, can happen without being noticed. When you look at a dog's backside, basically there should be nice flat areas either side of, of the actual anus and um, no loss of fur, no swelling, anything like that. So if you look for those sorts of things and just run your hand down, then you can feel all of the skin and feel for lumps as well. There are a couple of other lymph nodes I haven't mentioned in the armpit, in the groin, um, on the back of the knee, they're a little more difficult to feel. If you're just running your fingers over the skin, if there's changes there, you will find it. So as far as looking for the obvious changes, that's really all you need to do. 
The last thing to finish off with is then just have a look at, at in general, how they walk, how they breathe. Um, for the walking, uh, obviously any sort of lameness or tenderness you need to get checked. It's very difficult even for me as a vet sometimes to determine exactly the cause of the dog's lameness. So um, simply recognise that they're not walking or running how they used to. For the breathing, at rest, not so good when you're actually doing the examination if they get a little bit excited, but just occasionally notice how they breathe. Um, a dog's normal breathing at rest should be fairly slow, somewhere in the range of 10 or 20 breaths per minute. If they're always breathing much faster than they used to, then again, that may be worth getting checked out. So hopefully this was useful for you. Um, but uh, the main thing is just to very occasionally give your dog a good check over and if anything isn't right, then uh, your local vet is your best place to start. Thanks.